Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Chase here at Rocky Mountain. Thank you so much for checking in and welcome to our 2023 top five entry level helmets. Now I've said in a lot of helmet videos that when you're shopping for one of these, I always recommend, hey, spend the most money that you can afford on a helmet and buy one that you feel safe in. That's very important. Now that being said, when it comes to these helmets, now look, if you're just getting into riding, you're entry level rider, you're not going to higher speeds, or you're just doing maybe you know, some casual trail riding, and you're not jumping your motorcycle yet. Do you have to go spend five, six, seven hundred dollars on a helmet? Probably not. And that's where these helmets come into play. And what's great about this time that we live in, is there are really good entry level helmets that have great safety features. So we're just going to go through and talk about these briefly. I've got them arranged pretty much in price, going from lowest to highest. I'm going to be very brief today. I'm just going to mention some of the key things that separate these and why we put them into our top five. So the best advice I can give after this, go watch the product spotlights where I'm a lot more thorough with the details. Also, don't take my word for it. Read rider reviews and see what other riders have to say. I will also tell you that I've ridden a lot of these. I've tried them all on and they all for me fit true to size. Now we have our fit guarantee. So if you get one of these, fitment on any helmet is crucial. Make sure you try it on. If it doesn't fit exactly how you want it, our fit guarantee lets you exchange it with free shipping on your first exchange to get the size and the fit that's gonna be best for you. All right, that being said, let's kick this thing off. First helmet up here, this is the Mav Forward Mips from MSR. The reason that this helmet is up here is because one, it's super affordable. You're under 150 bucks, and this is the least expensive helmet you're gonna see that has the Mips liner system. Now the Mips liner system is a feature that you see in a lot of premium helmets that are a lot more expensive. It's been around for a while now, and what Mips stands for is multi-directional impact protection system. And basically what that is, it is a liner that goes between the comfort liner and the EPS of the helmet, and it creates a slip zone. There's been a lot of emphasis on rotational energy or rotational or angular impacts. So what you want is when you actually have an impact, you want your head to actually slip a little bit inside the helmet to help mitigate some of those forces. So again, it's got the MIPS liner system with the multi-density EPS and with the MAV4. If you've ever looked at the NXT gear from MSR, that's their one of their premium lines, a very affordable premium gear, and they have colorways that match the MAV4 with MIPS. Moving on from there, you have the Bell MX-9. This also has the MIPS liner system. So you go up a little bit in price, you're about around the $180 to $200 point there. But what's cool about the Bell is that this has been one of our most popular entry level helmets year after year. And for good reason, Bell, they have a really good reputation. They've been making helmets for many, many years. This, in our opinion, is our favorite looking helmet that is up here, just the shell design. They take a lot of the same features or the same shell shape that they had in their, their Carbon Flex, their Moto 9 helmet. You get that with the MX-9. I will also say too that after trying all these helmets on, this is to me one of the most comfortable that is up here on the table. Now, keep in mind, you know, fit, comfort, that's all gonna be subject to the rider. But for me, this was one of my favorite fitting. But you got the MIPS liner system. Again, tried and true, it's been super popular year after year, really good helmet. Now from there, you have the new Fox V1, and they just released this in early 2023. So you go up a little bit, you're gonna be just north of $200 for the V1. Now. Here's what's unique with the V1. So they have the MIPS liner system. Again, we've talked about that. I do want to highlight though, that one thing that I've noticed about this is when you look underneath the visor here, you have these giant intake vents. These are the largest vents that you're going to see of all the helmets that are up here. So I have no doubt that this helmet's going to do a good job of getting a lot of air circul circulation in those warmer temperatures, which you're going to absolutely need. But Looking at the V1, on paper, you might think, well, why is it more expensive than, say, the Bell or the Mav4 with MIPS? And one of the things that you might not realize is when you look at the V1, visually, you can see that it's just a smaller looking shell. This is a size medium that I have up here on the table. Now, what Fox went and did when they were building this helmet is they made four different shell sizes. And that is not common when it comes to entry-level helmets. And here's why that's important and why this helmet does cost a little bit more. Because when you have more than just say two or three shell sizes, which is pretty typical for entry-level helmets, it allows you to fine tune the fit, get a better fit depending on the rider, but it also allows you to keep the weight down on different shell sizes. For example, this size medium, even a size large, is by far the lightest helmet 
that is up here on the table. Your sub three pounds, in fact, it's about a half pound lighter than some of the other helmets that are up here on the table. And from my personal experience, the lighter a helmet that it can be, I think is better just because I feel like, again, this is kind of my opinion here, that when you have a smaller shell and a lighter helmet, and you do have an impact and you hit your head, I feel like reducing the shell size and the weight is going to lessen the severity of that impact and the possible damage to your head. So that's why I like the V1 because you have those four shell sizes. They also have multiple different EPS sizes to go along with that. Again, just doing everything they can to keep the shell size down, the weight down in the helmet, while still giving you a good venting design and that MIPS liner system. Moving on from there, you have the M5 from Alpine Stars. So this right here, you're gonna be kind of in the high 200s. Now I've ridden in this helmet and personally, I really like it. It's comfortable, it's got a good venting design and a couple features about this that I like. Inside here, they don't utilize the MIPS liner system, but what Alpine Stars does is they have a five density EPS liner. In other words, they've gone through and they've looked at what areas you're more likely to have an impact and in those areas, they're probably gonna use a more dense foam that can absorb a little more impact at those higher speeds. But then in other areas, they utilize a softer EPS and they're just maximizing or they're putting in different areas what density EPS liner they feel is needed there to give you the most energy absorption possible to protect you the best they can. So pretty unique that they're doing that. Another cool feature that I do like about this helmet is the breakaway visor design. It works really well, just ask Chase Sexton. But what's cool about their visor design is all these visors up here are designed to break away. What's unique to this one, however, is that when it does break off, and I'll just show you right here, you actually just have these little tabs right here. So if the visor does break off, which you want it to, because that's gonna reduce any additional forces to your head or to your neck, but a lot of times if you're riding, you crash and you bust your visor off and you break the screws off, well, you're either gonna be riding with no visor or a busted visor for the rest of your ride. With this, if the visor breaks away, they've made it such that you can just easily take it and pop it right back in so you don't have to worry about your visor being broken or just having you know no visor at all. So I like their breakaway visor design and like I said, right in this, it's comfortable and it's got a good ventilation design. And then last but not least, you have the Fly Formula CP. So Fly has their formula, which is their premium helmet. Then they have the Formula CC and then they have the Formula CP. And what's cool is that the technology in the CP, even though it's sub 300 bucks, you still get the same, a lot of the same technology that trickles down from their formula helmet. So, and the big feature in there is gonna be their energy cells made by Rion. And when you look at the EPS liner and you take that comfort liner out, you can see those. It's these big blue things inside here. And what's unique is that Fly, when they were designing this helmet, they just kind of took a different spin. So we've talked about the MIPS liner system. Well, Fly uses these energy cells and for two reasons, one, is they work with the EPS liner to help absorb your linear impact. So just straight up and down, those energy cells will help absorb that. But what they say is that these energy cells have what they call an active strain rate. And what that means is that when you have those angular rotations, so when you're going forward and back, side to side, those energy cells will actually help slow down that rotation and help mitigate those forces. So they're doing two things at once when you have an impact. And something that I noticed too, is that when you look at the fly, you notice that there's certain spots on the shell that are raised up a little bit. So fly went through and actually did that on purpose because in the critical areas where you're more likely to have an impact and hit your head, they've increased the amount of EPS liner that you have in those areas to get the most energy absorption possible. And I just noticed too that just to the touch, feeling the EPS liner in the Formula CP, it felt softer than all the other helmets that were up here. And the way that I think they can get away with that is because they have those energy cells that you're gonna be utilizing to absorb energy before you even get to the EPS. So pretty unique what Fly is doing. And I will say that this, along with the Bell, were my two favorite fitting helmets. If you ask me what are the most comfortable up here, these were the two that personally I like the most. And you can see also with the CP, they've got a lot of intake vents, no doubt it's gonna do a great job when it comes to ventilation. And that's it, those are our top five Entry-level helmets for 2023. Like I said, I was very brief today. So go watch the product spotlights where we pull all the comfort liners out of these helmets. We show you all the guts. We talk about all the other cool features and technology. So be sure to go give those a watch. I would love to hear your feedback. If you have one of the helmets that I've talked about today, which one do you have? 
What do you like? What do you dislike about it? Dislike about it? Put that in the comment section down below. And to see all these helmets and to grab your next lid, click on the link or head over to RockyMountainATBMC.com. We ship for free over 75 bucks, and we do have buyers guides for mid-level and premium helmets. So if you decide, you know what, I want to spend a little bit more money, maybe get a little bit more technology into the helmet that I'm going to be buying, be sure to go watch those, and those will also help you out. I'm Chase, and we'll see you on the trails.